all welcome to hashtag LNT episode 16 that means it's 16 uh, but with your favorite man and favorite host Ahmed Ali coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala of course on Imam Hussein 3 TV um, but let me say this 16 nights of Ramadan absolutely beautiful with you guys tonight uh, is the third uh, third uh, Thursday night of Ramadan uh, so it means Karbala is packed absolutely packed and you know i'm enjoying myself uh, as well as you guys should as well you know you guys should enjoy yourself um but you know i, I don't want to talk a lot tonight i just want to say that whoever uh, participates in the show will have their names placed in this fishbowl right here uh halfway you know quarter way filled uh names placed in this fishbowl for a chance to win a free trip to karbala all you gotta do is uh, participate at the end of ramadan my blessed hand will go into this blessed fishbowl and take out a blessed name to come on a blessed journey to the blessed land of Karbala. A lot of blessings tonight. Uh, but let's go take a very quick break and check out what's trending. Now, who likes to vape? Who vapes? I do. Vaping is, uh, we don't want to, we don't want to try, but you know, um, I won't say anything, but let's check out these charts right here. These charts are skyrocketing. In five years, five years, number of vapors globally in five years, look at that, or, or, or seven years, look at that. This is crazy. So 7 million, 2011. Now, there's almost 45 million, 42, almost 45 million. Uh, now, uh, n top 10 markets for vaping. The U.S. is killing it with vaping. We're going to get another chart. Let's, let's take a look at, the, uh, at another chart. All right, this was the same one. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, so I'll, I'll, I'll just say it out because uh, I read this today on BBC and uh, honestly, the business in, uh, in vaping is, is crazy. Uh, it went from, from $4.2 billion industry to $22.5 billion um, in, in, in 2016, 2018. It's crazy. Um, I'm one of the guys that vapes and uh, honestly, uh, it's better than smoking cigarettes and better than smoking hookah. Um, you know, because it's, it's, it's portable. It's go around wherever you go. But um, what else is trending? This is actually sad because um, if you're not a fan of Real Madrid, but you're a fan of Zizo, Zizo Al Aziz, Zain Zidane, Zaydan, uh, has retired from coaching Real Madrid. The 45 year old said in a conference um, that uh, he said, taking the decision not to continue next year with, with uh, Real Madrid. This is. Um, very very sad for uh, for me i don't i don't i'm not a fan of uh, real madrid but i'm a fan of uh, zizo uh zinedine zidane so hopefully he has a has a good and healthy life in front of him uh but great shout out view shout out from hashtag galency and special um all right so that's it with what's trending let's go check out what tonight's topic is because i know you guys are uh you know thirsty for it Yeah, so uh, welcome back. We are live in the holy city of Karbala. The late night talk is once again episode 16 of the special Ramadan series. And tonight, uh, we're trying to talk about some very special people. Parents. Parents are the best thing or the best people that have ever happened in our life. The only people that really care the much or the most uh, for us. If they're with you, God bless them. And if they're not, may their souls rest in peace. But during our childhood, they take care of us. They pay everything for us. Even when our piggy bank, piggy bank is full and we have pocket money, they still pay for us. They take care of us and one of the most important things is they guide us. During our teenage or young adult life, they tell us what's right and what's wrong. And to many, including myself, they become their best friend. They become our best friend. 
However, as we grow older, know it or not, they also grow as well. They grow older as well. So, and what a lot of people uh, may know or may not know, the old people are vulnerable to diseases, both physical and mental. They start to develop mental illnesses um, after a while, such as uh, dementia, or even uh, become physically ill as well, or physically disabled in some cases. The care for them gets more and more difficult as they grow older because it causes, sometimes it causes for discomfort within the family and f f for the relatives as well. And a factor, aside from physical and mental health, is the difference in generation. And what I mean by that, for example, if you're 16 and your father is like 65 or 75 and you're trying to do something and he's not allowing you because he doesn't, his mentality cannot take it in uh, because th th there's, there's a, a, a huge gap uh, of generation. Um, so he might not understand you. So in that case, what he does is he refutes you from doing that. He doesn't, he doesn't allow you to do that. However, vice versa, Sometimes he tells you to do something like getting that fish bowl cut, you know, that, that, that bowl cut um, where no one does not, not now these days. But like your dad says, you know what, this is nice. You have to go and do it. Um, then you just look like an idiot in school. But, you know, uh, but if, if you do have that, it's, it's kind of tough to deal with. Um, they become old because they're old school. They can't keep pace uh, with, uh, with this generation, especially this generation, the spoiled ones. Now, the change of generation, in addition to the mental and physical disabilities that they suffer from, old people go through sometimes, um, it causes their children to get tired of them. They don't know how to deal with their parents if they get older. They don't have the experience. Now, therefore, leading them to taking their parents to nursing homes. Now, tonight on Hashtag LNT, we're trying to celebrate Global Parents Day and we're trying to find out and your question for tonight is simple would you put your parents in nursing homes very very simple what you have to do is pick up the phone dial or open whatsapp dial the number shown right there and let us know what you guys think at plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six do you think that when your parents grow older you're gonna put them in, person, in, in nursing homes or would you not put them and let us know why the advantages of putting them and the disadvantages of putting them in nursing homes you can talk about that as we get to talk about later on in the show as well but we do apologize for not going live on Facebook um, there is a technical difficulty happening so inshallah it's either we'll go very soon or we will go live tomorrow inshallah on Facebook but um, so that's it. Let's take a very short break and come back to look at tonight's topic. Many people, unfortunately, um, they have to go through a very difficult situation in making up the decision whether to take their parents to nursing home or not. You know, because parents are the most loved ones to our heart, especially me. Uh, my parents mean the world to me. But let's take a look at some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages of putting your parents in nursing homes. You know, there are some advantages which we'll get to talk about. Now, one of the most prominent advantage of putting your family or putting your parents or parents in a nursing home is that there's a, a professional team, uh, expert medical team that give medical at the, the proper medical attention to your parents around the clock so that means you don't have to you know you don't have to go and teach yourself uh, everything you need to know on how to take care of old people now nursing homes are also staffed with people that uh, know how to deal with a specific situation when it does happen when old people get old when when you know our parents get old they tend to always sometimes forget not socialize a lot so they provide that atmosphere so hence they have social activities and facilities with social activities where the old folks get to socialize uh, among themselves. Another advantage of nursing home is that nursing homes are 
evaluated every year by the Medicare. So you can make sure that your loved ones are staying in safe, in, in a safe and, and, and sound nursing home. Now, some are also uh, providing new nursing homes in Canada and the US, they're providing the person. So for example, if you put your uh, mom or dad in nursing home, they provide you with a live feed on your phone from the camera in the room. So you can see and check out what your dad or what your mom is doing. That's an advantage as well. Now, relying on uh, nursing homes can sometimes put fewer demands on the family. If you're busy, if you don't have time, if you're all, all day busy with work, um, you don't have time to take care of your parents, which is something very uh, important for the guys that run business. Um, you don't get that time to spend with your parents, so what you can do in the advantage, let someone else take care of your parents for you. But let's, uh, we just received a text message from Sayyidah Kutsum Naqvi from Pakistan. She says, uh, sending parents to nursing homes uh, is one of the most pathetic things one can do. There are countless sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, his holy progeny, and Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, showing us the status of parents and the curse on the ones who disobey their parents. Thank you very much, Kutsum, uh, for joining us uh, tonight. Now, uh, her, your, your name has already been placed in, in, in this fishbowl, in this blessed fishbowl uh, right here. Uh, but we do remind everyone to call in and let us know what they think of tonight's question. Now, uh, before, the, uh, before that text uh, message, we were talking about some of the advantages. Now, of course, when there's an advantage, there's a disadvantage. Now, when you're putting your parents in nursing homes, the first disadvantage of putting them in that place is, you know, when you come back from work or when you're leaving to work, you get to see your parents early in the morning. Or when you come back from work, you're tired, you get to see your parents. And that great smile your mom gives you, your dad gives you as, you, as soon as you walk in uh, to your house, which is something beautiful. It just increases self self esteem and it makes you uh, really feel welcomed in that house that you're walking in which is something absolutely beautiful um, you know th the relationship that a person can have with an older father or mother can really strengthen the relationship with that same person and his son uh, because if you do have a son and he sees you putting your parents in nursing home then guess what Whatever goes around comes around as the saying goes. But several cases of abuse is also another disadvantage of putting your parents in nursing homes. If you go to YouTube, simply write abuse in nursing homes, you will find many cases of abuse because the people that are you know, um, working at nursing homes, you don't know when they lose their patience. Old people need a lot of patience, a lot, and they nag, which a lot of people don't like including myself. Old people like to nag. If, if they don't see something done, they keep on repeating the same thing. Not everyone can take that in. Not everyone can bear that. So they need a lot of um, uh, patience, the person working with the old age, which results in most of the time resulting into abuse. Another disadvantage is how expensive old, old age homes are. 900 as of uh, as of 2012, 248 dollars per room. So if you're putting your parent or parents in nursing homes, if you're taking one room or two rooms, one room is 248 dollars. So that means in a year you're spending 90,520 dollars, which is crazy. You need to be filthy rich to put your parents. There are cheaper homes, uh, but you can't really guarantee. Um, the satisfaction of your dad or mom, uh, and uh, and if, if you know uh, if you're trying to put your parents in their, into cheap nursing homes, then they probably um, anyway. I, I don't want to start saying random stuff, but uh, no one. Another disadvantage is that no one will care for your parents as much as you will. You know, when when your parent wants something in nursing homes, yes, sometimes it might be done right away, but most of the times it won't. Whereas you at home, you feel that high respect towards your parents so you're obligated 
to go and do that thing. You know, that high respect that grows from you being a child up until you grow up, that right there is very strong. And sometimes you, nursing homes can't offer that. 90% of nursing homes are understaffed. So the demands of old folks won't be met. And, that's, and in that potential threat of accidents might occur and there's a high chance that they will occur. Another disadvantage of putting your parents in nursing homes is that depending on the person's or the individual's condition, a nursing home might increase their illness. So if you have a, a, a mom or dad that are suffering from depression, are suffering from amnesia, are suffering uh, from uh, Alzheimer's, not all nursing homes know how to deal with that. They're not experienced. Not all of them are experienced with dealing with Alzheimer's because Alzheimer's is a very dangerous um, disease that a person can go through, especially in old age. Another disadvantage of nursing homes, when you have to put, and when there's no nursing home close to you, you have to travel long distances just to go and see your parent, just to go and check up on them. And that's another disadvantage. But let's go and check out what the public has to say uh, about tonight's topic. Would you put your parents in nursing homes? Would you put your parents in a nursing home? Uh, no. I, personally, me, um, when it comes to uh, parents, I believe that the struggle they went through to raise us as kids and, you know, the mums to, to give birth to us, that when they get older, it should be our duty to look after them as well. So to leave them in a nursing home, for me, I, I don't agree with that. Would you put your parents in a nursing home? No. Why? Well, in my culture, being Irish, it's not something that's really done. You know, you always, you always look after your family and your grandparents and your parents, and it's not really the done thing. Would you put your parents in a nursing home? Yeah, if they're old. So, okay, cool. All right, uh, thank you very much for those who joined us. Uh, they also joined us in the previous episodes, but um, I guess the, there's only two people or three people in London. Uh, that's great. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but thank you very much for those who joined us uh, in the public opinion. But um, some people, three, two people said no, they wouldn't. And one person said they would if um, they get old. Uh, we just received another text message from Muslim from the UK, he, say, he says, I think that nursing homes are right for old per, uh, parents uh, that have mental illness because if they stay at home with the kids, they might have an effect on the kids. Wow, okay. Thank you very much, Mustafa, from the UK. Um, so let's write his name down. Uh-huh, okay, nice. Mustafa from the UK. Okay. Okay. Mustafa. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, your name can also be placed, just like Mustafa's name and just like Kutsun's name, uh, your name can be placed in this fishbowl right here by joining the show, participating dur during this live show. Uh, we do apologize once again that we're not live on Facebook. Hopefully, inshallah, we can solve uh, those technical difficulties. Uh, and uh, inshallah, tomorrow we will be live definitely. I'll ensure that uh, we'll be live on Facebook, inshallah. Now, uh, before that text message, we were talking, and before the public opinion, we were talking about the disadvantages of putting your parents into nursing homes. Now, one of the important things of keeping in mind, especially when a person... Um, is a follower of the Ahlul Bayt and um, a Muslim, we have to look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made incumbent upon us towards our parents. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is very interesting because in a few narrations, if you were to go examine the Islamic history, which um, a lot of people have to do, um, he compares his obedience with the obedience of to Prophet Muhammad, so his respect 
the same as respecting Prophet Muhammad, the same as respecting the Imams. However, there's something very interesting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. He makes his obedience very important and it's a scale if your parent if you obey your parents. So if you obey your parents, you obey God. If you disobey your parents and you're trying to obey God, then that's not going to work. Good luck trying to obey God when you're disobeying your parents. There's a few exceptions which we get to talk about later on. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in chapter 17, verse 23, He says, Allah your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him. And, the, and to your parents, treat them with good manners. Whether one or both of them reach old age with you, say not to them, of. The, 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 the small word of, it's, it's two letters. And Imam al-Sadiq said, if there was a, a, a lesser letter or a lesser word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have used in the Qur'an, he would have used it. But if is, is, is the smallest word that a person can use towards his parents. If it just means like, wow, I have to deal with that again. All right? Not riha, but you know, uh, I have to deal with that again. You know what I mean? So even that small word you cannot say to your parents. Uh, and you know, I can think of a thousand words that people say to their parents. Uh, we don't want to mention them on TV. I don't think they're suitable. Um, and I know people that I've seen cuss out their parents. I've seen this. And it's disgusting for a person to cuss out his dad or mom. Uh, you know, doing it behind their back, a lot of people do it. But in front of them, it's just disgusting. Disgusting. Now, the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Look at the parents with compassion and mercy because it's worship. So if you're trying to worship God, just look at your parents with mercy and love. Because that, that's what you have to do. You know, it's, 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 it's not like your parents have uh, you know, dropped you in the sea and left you dead. No, your parents have tried their best to raise you as, as a good child, to make you someone very, um, you know, very upright and trying to make you successful. But there are some rights that we have to take into consideration as kids, as children to our parents. One of the rights is that you have to obey them as the verse says. However, their obedience should not come before the obedience of God. What do I mean by that? I mean that if your parents are telling you to, for, for example, if your parents are telling you to take off your hijab, if your parents are telling you to l go steal, to listen to music, to do drugs, to eat pork, to drink alcohol, to do whatever, to disobey God in any sort of way, you don't have to do it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after verse 23, He says, if they forced you to disobey me, God, then don't obey them. However, become friends with them in this dunya. To that extent, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that even if they're trying to tell you, even if they're trying to say disobey God, no, 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 don't disobey God, yet become friends with them. Try to tell them why you don't want to do that instead of being arrogant and, and, and stubborn. Just explain to them, and trust me, it will work. Sometimes there are stubborn parents that force their children to do stuff, uh, but hopefully these, these kids can, um, can have a, a bright future, inshallah. Tr treat them kindly, um, and allow them to speak first, and allow them to walk in front of you out of respect towards them. This is very important. When Imam Sajjad alayhi salam as, as he has the treaties of rights, one of them is about the parents, one's about the mother, one's about the father. And he emphasizes a lot about the parents. When a person asks him, he says, Ibn Rasulullah, why are you emphasizing on the parents so much? Imam Sajjad said to him, by Allah, if, there was an, if, if Allah allowed for the people to worship someone other than him, I would tell mankind to worship their parents. Not me to go worship their, your parents. 
but to that status of to that elevated status your parents has reached of course if, if, if they're pious and, and religious and all that so that's what you need to keep in mind another one is that don't raise your voice at them I know a lot of people even sometimes when they're joking their jokes get to a serious level and I've seen that you know kids joking with with their parents joking with their dads and moms uh, even it, it gets to something very very bad uh, I don't want to mention how, uh, but it's it's uh, it's it's really disrespectful. Imam Sajjad also says, um, very beautiful. He says, "I don't even eat with my mother." Well, they saw him eating alone, and his mother and and everyone was sitting eating together. He says, "I don't even eat with my mother because just in case her eye falls on a specific food, I don't go and grab it before her." So he eats alone, so his mother can eat peacefully. She can look at whatever she wants. Just in case, even the intention. Look how much Imam Sajjad focuses on parents, especially mothers. Now, if we were to conclude tonight, how many minutes do we have left? We have two minutes left. If we were to conclude tonight and try to send a message to those who have, um, you know, God forbid, disobeyed, disobeyed their parents, um, it's, it's very important. I think we just got a, a voice message from But we did get, oh, we didn't get a voice message? Uh huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, but as if, if we wanted to conclude tonight, all we have to say is that share the time that you have with your parents, even at their later stages of life. Try to make them feel, because honestly, you know, God forbid, just look at the parents that have a Down syndrome kid. They have a disabled kid. They don't throw their kid away and let someone else deal with them. No, no, no. They take care of them. They provide everything for them. The most expensive medical treatment they provide. Yet, a well be a, a, a healthy person cannot take care of his parents when seeing that, that's disgusting. So at the end of the day, let us spend some quality time with our parents in order to grow mentally and physically healthy that's what we need to grow thank you very much for joining us tonight this is Ahmed Ali coming to you live from the holy city city of Karbala be sure to join us tomorrow at the same time live from the holy city of Karbala once again take care wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh